Okay, up next we've got two beers from Whiplash Brewing Company, Body Riddle and Rollover Session IPA and Pale Ale. Um, let's see what the difference between these two beers is. Uh, Whiplash Beers, up next. Welcome back to Views and Brews. I am Brendan and these are two whiplash cans that I picked up from the off license the other day. Um, it's the afternoon, it's a nice lazy afternoon and I'm just chilling out and I thought it'd be interesting to see because these styles of beers are very similar, um, pale ale, well it's an American pale ale really, and um, Session IPA. I'm interested to see just what the differences in these cans of beer actually is. Now, I did a little digging around and I think they both have two hops that are the same in each can. And then they have other hops that are different. Um, rollover Session IPA is 3.8%. I might pour them both at the same time. Well, the smell is fantastic. That's the first thing I can tell you. Fresh as a daisy, these are. 1.3 UK units uh, of beer and this is 1.5 UK units of beer uh, because it's 4.5% uh, and it is their Body Riddle Pale Ale which I actually think is an American Pale Ale I don't want to get these mixed up I feel like they're going to be they are I feel like they're going to be kind of similar really um, I'll show you the artwork on the cans there Let's have a look and see what it says on the can first. I've poured them. They look fairly similar, although the Body Riddle American Pale Ale looks slightly brighter and has seemingly a bigger head. But we'll just see if we can spin up this one here. Session IPA. Look at that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Okay, yeah, they've both got a really nice head. This one is fizzing away just a little bit more, but it's 3.8%, whereas this is 4.5%, so it's to be expected a little bit. Okay, so in the body riddle, which is 4.5%, we've got the barley, oats, and wheat, and we have lemon drop, galaxy, equinox, and Simcoe hops in there. So four really, really nice hops, full of kind of, you know, Galaxy and Simcoe are bound to have a bit of passion fruit in them. Lemon Drop speaks for itself. And we'll just see what Equinot brings to the table. It's gonna have a bit of grapefruit in it. Um, whereas the Rollover Session IPA, let me see if it says anything on the back. Barley, oats, wheat as well. Yeah, they both have barley, oats, wheat in them. So that's making them similar profiles already. And to make them even more similar, this has also got Equinot and Simcoe in it. So there's going to be a bit of passion fruit there, going to be a bit of grapefruit in there. But where this one differs is that it has Citra and Mosaic hops in it, whereas the Body Riddle has Lemon Drop and Galaxy. So this one should be, I'm guessing this one should be a little bit more lemon and citrusy. This one should be a little bit more floral, a little bit more citra going on, and a little bit more, perhaps a little bit of bubble gum, a blueberry. I'm not really sure, but it's going to be fairly similar. Now, um, uh, a, an APA, an American Pale Ale, or a Pale Ale anyway, should have a little bit of malt uh, balance to the beer. Um, so there should be a little bit more a little bit more on the malt scale than the Session IPA, which should just have all the hops in the front. Showcase the hops, that's what IPAs do. Whereas Pale Ales, American Pale Ales, they have just a little bit more malt going on there. Um, let's see if I can see any difference on the nose because I'm killing the head by not drinking them here. But by the way, they, but, I mean, the if you could sit here and smell these aromas, absolutely incredible. Well, I'm definitely getting passion fruit and I'm getting a little bit of tropical fruits, bit of berry. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, citrusy, got, a, got all of that kind of like um, citrus element to it, but also got a bit of tropical, also got a bit of passion fruit going on. Really nice. Let's just see what I get from uh, Body Riddle. 
Oh, okay, that is definitely huge, hugely different. Even though two of the hops in it are the same, the Galaxy and the Lemon Drop in this one are different to the Citra and the Mosaic in this one. They've both got Simcoe and Equinox. I get confused here, but I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm right there. Let me just point the can so you can see them there. But the Galaxy in this one and the Lemon Drop, there is a bit of lemon <clears throat> and there is a little bit of like a pungency, which, you know, Galaxy is a really, it's a bold hop, an absolute bold hop. So Simcoe as well. And because I know there's lemon drop in here, I'm also getting lemon rind on the nose. But to be honest with you, my nose isn't that refined. So I'm only really getting it because I know it's in there, but I can definitely detect lemon rind on the nose. Fantastic. Let's go with the more malty one because I don't want to ruin the palate with hops overload. Whew, very pungent. That has to be Galaxy. It's almost, um, wow, that is really, really good. And I haven't had this in quite a while because I've been trying so many different beers, but my God, that is really, really good. What I'm getting in that, I do get a bit of lemon, but the lemon is more on the nose. There is a bit of lemon actually going through it, but there's also something that's kind of like goes through the nose and on the taste buds and it comes together to make a flavor descriptor of pungent. And that has to be, uh, it has to be Galaxy. It can't be anything else unless it's Equinox. And I get it from this one as well. Simcoe, do I get a bit of passion on there? Slightly aromatic. Um, A little bit herbal, I would say, as well. Coming across a little bit pungent, a little bit herbal, a little bit, um, you know, there's citrus going on in there, but there's also perhaps a twinge of grapefruit. Then there's a bit of, you know, sharpness from the passion fruit, but really nice, and it all blends together. It's a great selection of hops together. As far as the malt goes, I would say this is kind of like, it's a little bit IPA-ish in, in as much as, you know, all the hops are at the front and an APA, you should be able to get a bit of um, backbone from the malt, but I don't really get that. I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to tell, very, very tricky to tell. But I think that's gonna be the case with these type of beers. Um, super fresh hops, absolutely lovely, pungent, beautiful um, hop combo in there, absolutely fantastic. Okay, so I should be uh, cleaning the palate, but I'm just gonna go for it. You know, it's not really a hard and fast test kind of thing. I just wanna see if I can notice a difference. I can smell a bit of passion fruit going on in there. I can smell bubble gum in here. I know that, I mean, I've put the idea in my mind, but I'm pretty sure that I would say that that has berry and bubble gum going on in it. Oh. And citra, strong citra hops that have a bit of there's, you know, Citra hops are quite a forceful hop, so is Simcoe, um, and Mosaic just fills out all of the spaces in the hop profile, gives you that, um, that floralness that this one's more pungent, this one's more floral. This one has a bit of a stronger, even though it's uh, lower ABV, it has a kind of a stronger um, uh, hop oil presence, but this one has a stronger pungency to it. But here's the thing, here's the takeaway. Both fantastic beers, but if you said to me, if you handed me these cans in a blind taste test and said, tell me which one is the Session IPA, 
and tell me which one is the Paleo or American Paleo. I'm not sure if I could do it. I mean, I'd guess, but I, I, I really couldn't say, bang, this one here. Um, Oh, what you know? <clears throat> what Whiplash Brewing Company do really well is they're very good at they have their they have their base thing going on. They have barley, oats, and wheat, and it keeps their beers light, and it showcases the the hops. Then it's up to them to get that right combination of hops going on, and that's what Whiplash do really well in their beers now. Recently, they're bringing out all different styles of beers as well, but they're known for their dippers. They're known for, you know, the IPAs and the pale ales, and they're known for them because they do them so bloody well, you know, and uh, I just think, you know, you know, the only thing I would say is that I, I'm not sure that I could pick apart the difference. It'd be splitting hairs. It really, really is tough to do. Let's say that one has a little bit more bitterness to it. Whereas this one, now I think about it, this one has less bitterness to it. Okay. Hard to say. Pungent, slightly more bitter. Slight more bitterness gives a perception of it being more IPA-like, whereas this one has a little bit more of a softer profile but it has that pungent galaxy in it um doesn't even matter no of course it doesn't they're both great beers um and they're just another couple of great examples the artwork on the cans is absolutely fantastic too um i just wanted to crack them open at the same time and see could i uh see any difference with the beers um there is a huge difference even though they both got simcoe and equinot in them um the other two hops and obviously the way that they have um used the malts in each beer is going to be different but it's hard to tell because the hops are so fresh and vibrant so could i tell the difference absolutely not 100 percent. i'd be guessing i'd be guessing um maybe just at a pinch i might guess this because it's slightly more bitterness than this one and maybe it's only slightly more bitter because the ABV is slightly lower. Yeah, that's my view on these brews. They're both great. Uh, go get them. Go get all Whiplash beers. They're all great. Um, that's it. Uh, it's on to the next one. Cheers, Slodger, and goodbye.